All right. So, um, hello everyone. It's been a long time that I have uh, uh, developed a video or uh, shared something across with you. I've been doing a lot of uh, um, sharing a lot of stuff on LinkedIn, uh, but um, of late, I think close to six, seven months that I haven't uh, come up with a video or something. It's just that work-wise, it's been so much that uh, i don't get much time these days anyway off late uh, got some few, got a few requests for oxygen xml and uh, i thought like okay uh, let me just give you a basics of oxygen xml a guide so this obviously would be for people who have already been introduced to the concept of data and they are pretty familiar with what a data concept uh, data task and data references and um, a little bit of XML background is pretty uh, essential when you actually start working on data XML methodology, content methodology. I downloaded trial version of Oxygen XML in this case. It's a pretty popular tool along with Structured Frame Maker um, and a lot of organizations use Oxygen XML for uh, their uh, content development purpose, especially when you're thinking about developing content in X using an XML methodology. So I downloaded it and this is the welcome screen that is in front of you at this moment of time that you can see and uh, the startup screen is in front of you and uh, you see that uh, it shows you the couple of videos that are there uh, for the grab so you can uh, watch the videos whenever you get a chance for this thing. Then there are some events that they have given, there are resources uh, especially pertaining to the user guide discussion forum and mailing list so, so my suggestion would be that uh, take a look into this particular thing when you start working at that point of a time. Then there are um, documents and new projects that you can create at the point of a time. There are recent files that you have worked on and projects are there. So every time you want to see this, you can select this if you don't want, just enable it. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go here and uh, create a new data map for this particular thing and all that stuff. So I'm just going to close this. The first thing is to create a data map. And uh, data map, as you understand, is a container of information for that matter. Um, so all the topics that we talk about, um, including those data topics and all that, they are going to go inside the data map stuff. So what I am going to do right now is, first of all, create a data map. Um, so go to your file menu, new, click on new. And uh, you will see um, um, data map here, click on this, now give it a new name, so let's say I give it a call to training data map <coughs> and click on create, um, so it asks you if you want to open the data map in uh, maps manager or in editor console, so click on data maps manager and it opens up the training data map, dot data map which opens in front of you. Now, it opens up in front of you and if I double click on it, it opens up later on we can go and uh, edit this particular thing. We'll come into this a little later on. Now keeping the cursor over here, now let's go and work on the topics. So I'm gonna click on new and let's write a procedure. So for procedure generally we take data task, one task per at a time. So go to a title and uh, let's say for example, um, we wanna write a task, um, Mm, let's take a very simple case, isn't it? Let's say, for example, we want to uh, log into any of the banking application, right? So let's say to log on to uh, net banking, and uh, you sort of like click on the create button. Now your task button has opened, which you can see at the point of time it opened up. You can also see that when I say full tax with attributes. I am able to see the task and attributes which are there. So you see all the elements and attributes. So you should short description under the body. You have the various elements such as the para element and steps and the attributes, command element and all this are there. So for those of you who are well aware of XML paradigm, they would be understood by now that you have a title, then you talk about heading and uh, the body in generally is where the content would be actually writing and stuff. Now, you can start writing the content right now from here or you can just if you are pretty comfortable in keeping this you can do that 
or you come come here and click on so you get to see the full tax which is over here for you so you can see this thing then you have block tax so you can block this thing then you have the inline tax which basically has all of these things which by default is what you get to see in the view so it is up to you how you want to use it and all that stuff now another thing is to log on to net banking is there now if you want to write a short description the element is there you also get to see the outline of the element which is there in fact the short description so if you want to write something so as i write say this topic uh, introduces or this topic um, provides instructions on how to learn on net banking so you write this now about this task uh, element is here you can write something here for example here if you want to write follow all these steps and uh, right now you have the command here and let's say for example you say on the net banking each click the login button. Now formatting you can do it later also, but if you want to do it right away, you can just select this. You can also introduce an element called the uh, element for this bold element, or you can just click on bold and you get supply. So click the login button. Now pick out from the cursor over here because as a result of this step. You get to see the step result of this particular thing. So when you press the enter, it gives you um, the inside element dialog box wherein you can just go and select for that matter the, the particular element that you want. So you click on step result. Now the result comes over here. So I'm going to click the login button. So then what happens is your login page appears. So your login page appears, which is basically this thing. When you press, you want to go to the new step. That is step two. So click on new step. Step two command. What you do is um, you can write, for example, type your user ID or in the user ID list field or box. Then step three, type your password in the password x field and then what you can do is you can say click submit all right fantastic so you're done with this particular thing i'll just do the correctly formatting here bold and the password x field bold and uh, you do this and click submit all right now I have just written a small task that didn't have much thing, just a couple of lines that I have written about it. Go and save it in that point of time. Now if you want those maps to be contained in a data map, what you need to do, you have to reference it to the currently edited file. So you go here and uh, select the append child reference to the currently edited file. It will open up this particular cursor where you can go ahead and uh, select the task that you have written here. So right now what you have done is you have written this particular. So select this, insert and close. Now it comes over here for that matter. Now this is one task that you have written. Now let's say you can write a concept also. Again, similarly, keeping the cursor. If you want to write it inside, just keep the cursor over here. Go to your file for that matter. And new, click on this select concept and if you want to write about net banking let's say okay so net banking you click on create so net banking comes into picture here now look at the title and body and by the way i didn't say that you can also do the validation and all that stuff so net banking uh, is there so you are writing a concept so let's write a few lines of it as you can understand by the way you can also if you're aware of XML structure, you can sort of like go and start writing it in an XML paradigm, which becomes um, pretty easy for you to write about this particular thing and all that. So that is some utility and all that sort of a thing at the point of an end. You can uh, write about it and all that stuff. So what we um, do is, um, 
basically write it in an XML way, you get a view, you have a grid view, and you have an author view. So here we can see, for example, that we have this thing. So what we do is I write some subjects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a couple of sentences here. So some of the time, net and banking are spaces, but I'm using it together. So I can write net banking is uh, where or you will find all transactions transactions statements to view and download download from so you click on the enter so they have a new paragraph you come here i want to see if i can use uh, you know uh, net banking features so we want to type features include let's see if i have now when you're talking about bulleted list in xml we use an unordered list for that so try for searching ul if you get that ul which is an element to list of items in which the order of list item is not significant let's press enter i get a list item so every ordered list will have a list item right so what we do is that now under this thing you can prepare the mention about the features of the net banking stuff that you want to write about and all that stuff so um yeah so basically at the point of time uh, just for our end um, so what we do here is talk about the net banking services so here for example you have the features so under the feature you can talk about let's say uh, transfer funds online between your third part third party accounts third party accounts or any other bank account Yeah. We don't want to use the word because I'm going to use it to any FT, EGS, or IAS. Right. Now, second new list item. So we have, I'm going to write uh, only a couple of lines. Book uh, fixed <coughs> or recurring deposit. And two. Thing. if I'm talking about books fixed and recurring deposit I need to consider them as uh, drop and down here books fixed or recurring deposit and do premature withdrawal online and do premature withdrawal online with all Okay. Then view and update your lot of stuff you can do. So pay your utility bills. Let me just write one more item. Utility bills. Uh, pay your utility bills. And all that. All right. Fair enough. So I wrote this particular stuff and all that. Now what you do is that keep the cursor and you just reference it back again if we have done. Reference to the currently edited file. So let's go back to my banking data. And I'm fine. So I have two lines topics that I have written over here and they're included in the data. So this is just a basic thing. Uh, if you also want to go to training.data map, as you can see, the container is inside it. If you want to move it inside, you can do this also. That is, you can move it inside at the point of a time by um, you know, uh, particular stuff and all that. So what what, what it basically is that you get a something like a structure like this. Now training data map, if you want, you can just talk about here and say um, basics of net banking. Right, so this becomes your topic titles. This becomes your topic title. So when you publish, you will have a couple of topics which are inside this. And once you're done, I go and publish it. So when it comes to publishing, there are transformation scenarios. So you have configure transformation scenario, which gives you the 14 data maps that you can publish. The most common one is the PDF one. So I'm just going to run it and publish this and show you. Take some time and uh, 
it will create the necessary DML that I have created and all that stuff for that matter. Sorry, I don't get chance to edit the videos and all that sort of a thing. So sometimes my videos are not that as professional as it looks like. But the end point that I want to do is uh, to get my students and fellow people uh, get the idea of what we are doing. In any case, if you want to know a little bit more and you want to get in touch with me, you can write to me at uh, on uh, training at bluedotsconsultancy.com. Training at the rate of blue dots consultancy.com or just follow up our page blue dots consultancy.com and um, you can get more information about us or you can reach out to us if you have any training requirement or recruitment requirement and all that i'll try to see if i am able to give uh, come more regular in the coming days maybe talk about a little bit more about the reusability part of uh, data map talk a little bit i'm also planning to actually put some um, videos on json and uh, xml stuff also on rest apis and all that stuff um so let's hope it works out and all that so all right so the output actually comes up and as you can see the title is basics of net banking chapter one has this particular thing so because it was here inside this so you have a chapter one you have to log on to net banking and you see the concept of this particular thing which has come up for you all right, so this was basically about a small little bit idea that I want to give in Oxygen XML. Uh, hope it helps and uh, do write to me whenever you get time on training at bluedotsconsultancy.com. Thank you.